For optimal performance, your MiniWorks EX Micro Filter should be regularly cleaned and maintained. When using the filter in cloudy water or glaciated streams, this maintenance must be performed more frequently. When the filter becomes hard to pump or the flow rate decreases, it's time to clean the ceramic element. Unscrew the pump head and clean side cover from the housing. Carefully push the ceramic element through the bottom of the housing. With clean water, wet the scrubbing pad and gently rub the ceramic element. Hold a finger over the outlet port and rinse element with clean water, always washing away from the outlet port. You should measure the ceramic element every time you finish cleaning it. Remove the gauge from the clean side cover and test whether it can fit across the ceramic element. If the gauge slides easily across the ceramic element, then it's worn out and needs to be replaced. Do not force the gauge, as this can cause scarring of the ceramic element. Before reinserting the ceramic element, make sure the lower end cap o-ring is correctly seated. If the pump handle is hard to pull, it could be caused by a kinked hose or a clogged inlet foam. Start by straightening the inlet hose to ensure that it's not kinked. To clean the inlet foam, slide the inlet cage up the hose and remove the foam from the side of the inlet funnel. Rinse the foam and reinstall it into the inlet funnel. If the pump handle feels limp on the pull stroke, the most likely cause is dirt caught in the umbrella valve. To clean the umbrella valve, locate it under the pump head. Pinch and gently pull to remove the valve. Thoroughly rinse the umbrella valve and pump head with clean water and then reinstall it firmly into place. A limp push stroke could indicate a broken ceramic element or a missing lower end cap o-ring. The filter should never be used with a broken element or missing lower end cap o-ring. Check these parts before continuing. Another cause for a limp push stroke is a dirty relief valve assembly. To clean the relief valve, unscrew the inlet hose barb from the pump head. Take out the parts and rinse the duckbill with clean water. Be sure to reassemble the parts in their correct order. Dragging push and pull strokes could indicate a dry piston o-ring. To lubricate the piston o-ring, pull out the pump head pin and pump head bushing. Remove the handle and piston assembly. Lubricate the piston o-ring with MSR water filter silicone lubricant and reassemble the filter. If MSR lubricant is not available, you can also use Vaseline or lip balm. If the MiniWorks EX Micro Filter has been used for more than a week straight or is going into or coming out of long-term storage, then the ceramic element should be sterilized. Remove the ceramic element and take off the lower end cap o-ring. Place the ceramic element into a large pot of room temperature water. Bring the water to a boil and maintain the boil for 5 minutes. Turn off the stove and allow the water to cool down before removing the ceramic element. Thoroughly wash and completely dry all of the filter parts. Air dry the ceramic element for 3 to 5 days before reassembling the filter for storage. Handle the ceramic element carefully to avoid damage or breakage. If the ceramic element becomes cracked or damaged, replace it immediately as its ability to safely filter water has been compromised. On longer trips, it is a good idea to bring a spare ceramic element. The MSR MiniWorks Maintenance Kit includes all the parts necessary to keep your filter running smoothly. To treat water with suspected waterborne viruses, you can use MSR AquaTabs in conjunction with the MiniWorks Micro Filter. More information on the use of disinfectants is available through the Centers for Disease Control at cdc.gov.
For more information on MSR products, please visit msrgear.com.